Hi, welcome to another episode of How Did Atkins Little Cover. My name is, of course, Kent Altima. And this week's episode has to do with the number one question I've ever got on about the Atkins diet. And when I first started making videos, I thought the number one question was going to be, why am I so tired in the first couple of days after starting the diet? Where's this energy they spoke of? Why am I feeling so fatigued and things like that? And of course, that's my induction flu episode. But the number one question I've ever got on the Atkins diet is, can I eat this on, the, on induction? Can I eat apples on induction? Can I eat tortillas on induction? Can I eat almonds on induction? Can I eat raspberries on induction? You know, I get all these questions quite often. I can't even count how many I would get per week. And really these questions concern me because as much as I'm honored to be as part of their low-carb journey to help them be as successful as I was on the Atkins diet, I'm concerned that I'm not always the quickest to respond to them. It may be a day or two before I get back to my emails because of the busy schedule that I lead, and I have to wonder what happens on their diet as I'm apart from them, as I'm not responding to them. Are they just going ahead and eating what, I, what their question was, or do they stay true to the diet? So, to that end, I've copied down the end, rules of induction and the acceptable food list for induction in a couple of the links over on the right hand side. They're in some Google documents and you should be able to read those and at least memorize those so that at least during induction you should be absolutely clear what you should be able to eat and what you shouldn't be able to eat. Because, and you should be able to take those to the grocery store with you to be able to shop from. That gets to the first half. The second half is how do you apply those rules? How do you know if this food is acceptable or not? Let's take spaghetti sauce and an example. Just simply reading the nutritional facts, this many fat, this much protein, this many carbs, is not going to tell you if that spaghetti sauce, that particular spaghetti sauce, is legal or not. You've got to read what the ingredients is, because some spaghetti sauces are filled with corn syrup, and some spaghetti sauces are filled with just natural sugars. It's knowing the difference being, by being able to read the ingredients label to know if it's natural sugar or added sugar is what's going to be the acceptable things. I made a video on this in the past that, you know, induction isn't just eating 20 grams of carbs per less per day. It's about knowing what the right 20 grams of carbs per day is. And those 20 grams should be primarily from vegetables as well as only from natural sugars that are found within foods naturally, i.e. eggs have carbs in them, vegetables obviously have carbs in them, as well as cheese has naturally has carbs in them. Having those within those acceptable induction foods in the amounts allowed is what's going to make you that overall success story. So it's a combination of knowing exactly what you can eat and knowing how to apply those things and how much you can eat per day is what's going to make you the long-term success. And I don't do this to discourage the can I eat questions. It's just that I want to make sure that you guys are indeed the author of your success as opposed to foisting upon somebody else so that when you get back to goal, when you get to your success goal weight, you can say claim all the credit for yourselves as opposed to having to give the responsibility to somebody else. So I hope this reaches everybody in good health and looking forward to seeing more videos from all you Atkins Diet followers. Thanks. Goodbye.